Man, what's good, YouTube? So in today's video, I got a video coming your guys' way about if we can make pinch weld lift pads out of hockey pucks. Now I had a, I'll say I had a healthy conversation with the guy in the comments. Like I said, we had a healthy conversation about where to jack up at the car. Ultimately, I'm deciding to try out these hockey pucks because there's no way I'm about to spend $100 to get the Z01 lift pads. It's just not worth it. I'd have made them out of a block of wood or something before I paid the money to get those. We're gonna make them out of hockey pucks today and I'm gonna show you guys how to do it. So these are the hockey pucks right here. I picked them up off of Amazon. I think they were like $3 a piece. This is how they ship, no box, no nothing. But we don't need any of that extra stuff because what we're gonna do is just put them on the front for now. That's why I only bought two because in the back, I'm confident about where I'm jacking up at. I'll show you guys underneath the car once I get the car in the air where I was jacking up at in the front. I'm gonna uh, get some measurements on the pinch welds on my car. We're gonna cut a slit down the middle of these. We'll measure how far down to cut into these actual hockey pucks and they should slip right onto the pinch welds and I'll be able to jack up the front of the car on the lift here on these hockey pucks. So let's get the measurements we need and get this done. This is a quick and easy solution for anybody that doesn't want to pay the $100. Like I said, each one of these hockey pucks cost me about three bucks a piece, so a total of $6. This is the cheap and expensive option. Save you a couple bucks. All right, you guys, we got the tape measure here. I got my blanket to lay down on. That's the pinch weld we want to jack up on. All right, you guys, so I got these bad boys measured. It's gonna go down to about three quarters of an inch. It's going down a little further on the puck that I thought. Maybe down the road, I'll buy a second one to put underneath these or something, but it'll be fine for now. And again, on a four lift jack, like I'm lifting it on a, you know, actual car lift like this, these aren't an absolute must because the weight is spread pretty evenly throughout the car. But I just wanna show this to you guys if you guys are jacking up on one side or if you just would rather be safe than sorry when lifting up on a lift like this. So we got one slick cut in this one. Freaking rubber is hard, man. I was slowing down this blade a lot. I mean, this is a wood blade, it's not really made for this, but yeah, I'm just gonna go with one blade cut through, see if this fits onto the pin weld. I'm actually hoping it fits a little tight so that this kind of grips around it and I don't have to, uh, you know, as I'm lifting the lift up, worry about lining this up. Cool, I'm thinking one cut through should be enough. It's a little bit tight, but like I said, that's how I want it. Let's get this other one and then get this bad boy on the lift. So here's the puck here, you guys. Let's get it underneath the car. I don't know if you guys can see, I got my phone light in here for you. Hopefully that does something, but anyways. All right, so I've, like I said, I cut my slits kind of small so it would just stick on there like that and put the lift pad right over it. Then we're gonna jack it up. So it looks like the hockey pucks are working. Everything looks all good. I got underneath. I'll show you guys that in a second, but I wanted to show you guys my hood wrap. Now it's dirty as hell. <laughs> So you guys can't really tell, but you remember how I was saying I had bubbles on here? Most of the bubbles have gone away, honestly. I don't know if you guys can see on camera, there's just crap everywhere on here because I need to clean it. But yeah, I don't really have any bubbles like I did. So definitely happy about that. I noticed like in some places in here, I don't know if the camera picks it up, but like I had a lot of wrinkles in here and I just kind of pulled them back tight. I should have actually heated up because I can still see a little bit of the wrinkles coming through. But like I said, man, for my first time, no complaints. In terms of these hockey pucks, it worked out excellent, you guys. I don't know if you guys can see in there, but my cut's pretty good. It's like exactly the length of the weld. I think I could adjust these feet a little bit because you see it's kind of hitting this felt pad thing here. I don't know what this is exactly, it's cover. So I just need to slide these forward a little bit next time around, but it doesn't look like it's actually denting it in. So I think I'm all good there. This is what the other side looks like. 
not pushing up on this felt quite as much but yeah fits in there perfectly now this is where i was jacking up at before you guys now if you guys have a lift like i do where it's a four lift or a four point lift where you've got four different points that it's lifting up from it really distributes the weight really well so it's not as much pressure as what would normally be on this piece if you were to jack right here you should never jack right here on a lift like this it's not the end of the world i don't know that i would say i would recommend it but i did it and i got by just fine but now we've got the pucks in place for anybody that would like to use them definitely if you're jacking up with a regular floor jack you would definitely want to use those and then get your jacks jack stands and get them put right here i just wanted to come at you with a video show you quickly how to make your own lift pad so that you don't have to worry about paying a hundred dollars to get the zl1 magnetic whatever ones i know amazon makes like their own brand that's a little bit cheaper but you're not gonna beat three bucks a piece or six dollars total is what i ended up paying to get both of them so it's really not that hard to do if you guys are looking to do it and you want to do it go ahead and try it out it's really easy a table saw makes it all much easier to actually get that cut in there get the height correctly but even if you guys had a sawzall or something and you took your time you'd totally be able to get it done i cut down about three quarters of an inch into the hockey puck the only thing i would recommend is maybe get a little bit thicker hockey pucks but that's up to you. I think this is going to work just fine. I don't think it's going to split, but yeah, that's going to do it for today's video. I'm getting out of here. Just wanted to give you guys a quick one. I'm out this thing, baby. Peace.